Hey everybody, what is going on? It's your boys, the three waking back to another episode of GTA 5. Since last time we had a phone call from Lester telling us that the debt to Martin Madrazo has been paid off, as you can see here. Yeah. We're basically now going over to this mission where we have to go speak to the guy that's been in contact with Michael before over a few things and called us at the end of last episode telling us to meet him at the observatory due to a certain little incident with a good friend of Michael's or some may say his best friend Look out! so we're heading up to the observatory which is literally around this corner like right here Yeet. it's up top of this little bit of mountain We'll stick to the roads because it's quicker than going off-road because you get more grip on the road. We'll avoid crashing into cars as well. Okay, this bit I'm going off-road. Yeehaw. Oh. I thought it'd be cooler and I'd just continue spinning. But no, we didn't. We just arrived nicely at this bit of ground. Oh my God. Uh, cannot be asked to walk. Okay, looks like we're walking, but we'll park in the car there. Let's go around this corner. And go meet with this guy from the FIB, who's a good friend of Michael's. Now, I can't wait till tomorrow because a new Pokemon DLC comes out. So let's see how this goes. About as good as can be expected. But the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davey, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if, no, when? He starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your Yikes. problems. Yikes. <laughs> Uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Ooh. Fuck Oof. you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... Then we better go about saving it together, because... You and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. Yikes. Indeed. This is a sticky situation for what do you both need? of them. This guy. Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. Ooh. We at the bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. I think this might so, be a fun apparently, mission. He has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I going to get in this here? This is not a fun oh, mission. You've played dead before, haven't you? Yeah. We get knocked out. I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. I'll tell you what to do. Why did he knock him out? Oh, because he's going to drag what him. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s. Overweight. Take a peek. Good comment. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. <laughs> Probably about to find one in his gut, still in its wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. See the broken capillaries around the I'm nose? I'm not going to do anything. Alcoholic. I just want to hear I what they say. I wouldn't take any bets on the state of the liver. We still think 40s? Takes a toll. What the hell was that? Don't worry, it's just gas. No, no, it's reanimating. You want to cut it in the coroner's office, you're going to have to lose the nerves. I've been around cadavers. 
This isn't right. Well, fresh is different. The ones you've seen have been on the shelf for a week. You can still smell this guy's breakfast. If you say so. Ah, the things I've seen in this place. Grown man, you could fit into a sandwich bag. This is a bit of a weird Bodies that are more maggots than flesh. This gas bag here is a blessing. They done talking? Oh, Jesus. Back from the dead, motherfucker. Yeah, he gets choked out by Michael. While he's fully nude. I'm presuming this is Michael's stuff. Come out. Hands in the air. So this should be interesting. Hi, agency dude. Might be in the other room. Might be. Oh, my friend, you are gonna get. Give it up. A little bit out of a there. surprise. I agree. <clears throat> Give me that gun. That don't look right. Not you. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. Not you. Let's go, Davy. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help. Oh. Not a good. Why? What? That's so unfair. I got stuck in the phone call, and Michael died because of it. Okay. Hey, stop! Come on, put your hands. Up. Peek the corner, baby. Don't Carry on with your business. Oh, no way Why did it aim for the other guy and not the guy in front? That makes zero sense. Yeah, I told you this isn't a fun mission, ladies and gentlemen. I win that trade. Michael always wins the trade. Okay, he went for the right one this time. Hey, I already died once today. John, he's dead. He's dead. That should be all of them dead. In this area. There's a guy running. You are this close to being shot. Am I? Fuck or are you on by me. yourself? I'm not interested in the truth. You pop that corner quickly. So did you. Any more want to come popping around that corner? I've got a shotgun now. It's all a big misunderstanding. You're an idiot for coming around that corner. Like a huge one. You don't have the clearance to be here. You're an idiot for walking up to me with a shotgun. A uh, lift going up, is it? Shit. Need to take the stairs. I have to take the pissing stairs. Yeah, I have to go up the staircase. 
Never fun taking stairs. Containment, containment, contain containment, mother trucker. Not this for idiot. I should have stayed on the slab. You don't call someone a dickhead who's got a shotgun. I just. They're just going to do that to you. Like, holy moly. Uh, let me... We got an injury. Stavely. Stavely's hit. Stavely's hit, boys. Woo! I'm coming for you! This is yeah. fucked! I don't know what you're doing here. Push me! But you won't be doing it much longer. Yeah, they are. And so was he. I'm going out the window now. Bye bye. That was fun. Yeehaw. Yeah, I hate that mission. It's probably one of the worst in the game. And we're being chased by the cops, so give me... I don't want this car, but I'm taking it. And we will... Oh, bye. Oh, balls. I took the wrong turn there. And now we have to have fun escaping a three-star one at level. So we're heading into the main part of the city. Where I should have took the other car. This one is really bad. But we've got bridges here. We can use that to our advantage. Alley up. Uh, the tunnels are right across here, so we'll go and go into them. Like. So we're going through here. This is the easy way of doing this mission. We're just going to drive away slowly. No one knows where we are. No one cares where we are. We're on the big over... The big street roads that go into the exact same place. Some may call this the over the top. I'm jumping off, and we did it. Not a better car. Hey, Mike. F. Hey, we need to talk. Quick, meet me at those oil derricks just outside Ooh. town, El Burro Heights, and make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Yikes. Look, I'm on my way. Will we get there before Franklin? Probably not. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is going to get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA building. That sounds fun. The IAA building. You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. Hmm, that's kind of true. Anyway, Franklin got here before hey, us. Franklin, what's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Look, you remember I told you I know people? Feds who looked after me when I retired? You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit, Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. 
Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy. Fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. And everything was cool. Problem started when recently I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I think so. Shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't, hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin, you'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood then, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy, run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Now, come on. You better take off. Alright, man. I'm with you. Well, Michael is with you. trying to help Franklin. He's treating him like a son. Even though he has a son. So, yeah. That is this mission done. Meaning, this episode is over. If you enjoyed it, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here if you want to. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.